Okay, don't move. Let me. Arguably, the best Jeep Wrangler ever made is the Jeep Wrangler TJ, and here's why. Introduced in 1997, the Wrangler TJ brought groundbreaking improvements to the world of off-road vehicles that are still the standard today. The first generation Wrangler, the YJ, had leaf springs carried over from World War II had a dashboard with instruments extending all the way to the passenger side and well it had those square headlights that left everybody in the Jeep community saying finally in 1997 the Jeep community had something to get excited about the TJ the first major change with easy to reach instruments and easy to reach radio and heater controls. Second most important thing that they did was round headlights. And the most important change that they made on the TJ was the four link suspension front and rear with coil springs. This had a couple of benefits. Number one, it greatly improved the drivability on street and off-road, it greatly increased the suspension articulation, giving it more traction and the ability to crawl over bigger obstacles with more stability. And the Wrangler TJ has enormous amount of aftermarket support. Bumpers, got them. Fenders, yep. Winches, got them. Suspension kits, you bet. Decorative trinkets to make it a mall crawler? We won't talk about those. And all this articulation can be had with something as simple as sway bar disconnects. every TJ had a skid plate, as the skid plate was the transmission mount. Now if you're enjoying the video, please take a moment and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member. And share us out with your friends. Now the Wrangler TJ is available with three different engines. A 2.5 liter, after 2003 a 2.4 liter, and the legendary 4.0 inline 6. And all were available with a 5-speed manual transmission or an automatic transmission. However, be advised that none of these are great interstate performers as all three of these engines were designed to produce power in the lower RPM ranges. The TJ is also a great platform for engine swaps. My preference is the Chrysler as you can interface with the factory dashboard. But if you'd like, you can do an LS, a Chevy small block, 
a Volkswagen TDI diesel, and yeah, you can even do a Ford if you want, but we won't talk about that. The most highly sought after of the TJs was the Rubicon, with its Dana 44s with air lockers and a transfer case that sported a 4 to 1 crawl ratio. It was the prize of the TJs. So what is it that the TJ doesn't have that makes it the best Wrangler ever? Well, it doesn't have power windows to fail. Your high-end models have crank down windows. Your lower models have zip windows. And it doesn't have power door locks to fail. And it doesn't have a 13 inch electronic touch screen and electronics that are overly complicated. And the TJ, well it doesn't have a starting battery positioned below the accessory battery, which can go dead overnight while you're camping and cause your Jeep not to start. And the TJ doesn't have wheel speed sensors to get packed up with mud and fail and put you into limp mode while you're on the trail. And it doesn't have tire pressure sensors that can put you into warning lights when you air down to drive a trail. Now if you're into all these electronic gadgets and all of the creature comforts, well then the TJ might not be the Jeep for you. And if you're expecting maintenance free, you gotta remember, these Jeeps are as old as the music on your classic rock station. When these Jeeps were released, John Fogarty was walking in a hurricane, Metallica was unforgiven too, and well Ozzy was back on earth. The Jeep itself was born out of necessity. It was a tool of war that carried our soldiers across the battlefields of Europe during World War II and countless other wars that came after that. And it was like a pair of brass knuckles, Spartan, basic, and in your face. The TJ is soft by comparison, but it's still hard and minimalistic compared to the Jeeps of today. Maybe that's why enthusiasts call the TJ the last true Jeep. And I invite you again to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button and share this content to help the YouTube algorithm push it out to other people. And while we're here, I have just one more item. One more thing that the TJ doesn't have that makes it the best Wrangler ever. It doesn't have two extra doors. <laughs>